Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on creating a simple PHP strategy game. Now these last, this last part or two, probably two parts, is going to deal with setting up cron jobs. What cron jobs are is some fancy name that I don't actually remember what cron stands for, but basically it's a, it's a kind of script that allows you to execute certain files at certain times whether that be certain times of the hour, certain times of the day or certain times of like the month or year and that's essential to our game because we want users to be able to use their income and farming to gain more gold and food as well as get more turns to attack other players with so now what we're going to do is we're going to have, I don't know, possibly a few uh, cron files that we're going to have. So we're going to create a new page. We're going to call this cron turn, cron, C-R-O-N underscore turn dot PHP. And what we're going to do here is we're going to include the functions.php file and then we are going to connect to the database so now what we're going to do here is if we go here you will see cron turn is a blank page and there's no errors so that's a good thing so now what we what we're going to do is this is going to be the turn and you have to decide for your game how often do you want turns to be. Do you want them to be every 10 minutes, every 20 minutes, every hour, every half hour, that kind of thing. So what we're going to do is we are, for this tutorial, we're going to make uh, the turns be every 30 minutes. Um, I will get into that. Let me just add a note here. Turns every... 30 minutes. That's just a commented piece of information. So what we're going to do for each turn, as you can see in our stats table, a player has an income and a farming. These are going to add to their gold and food respectively each turn. So what we have to do is we have to cycle through each user. So what we're going to do is um, I don't know, we'll just say get users. This is going to be the same as the rankings, basically, where we're going to MySQL query select, whoopsie, sorry, forgot my parentheses, select star from uh, stats, where actually just select star from stats. I think um, that should be everything we actually need for this part. Okay, let's use that. So we've essentially gotten all the users. So now we have a while statement while user equals my school fetch a source of get users remember this is for each essentially row from this query right here um, we are going to go through that user so what we're going to do is just since we don't really want to worry about memory we're just going to do an update query so we're going to say update is equal to my screw query we're going to update stats we're going to set let me just tab this out here set uh, gold equal to gold plus uh, row or no not row sorry user because that's the user right here user uh, income add a comma food is going to be equal to 
food plus user farming. And last but not least, uh, turns is going to be equal to turns plus, let's just say like five turns, something like that. Where ID is equal to user ID or die MySQL query or error, sorry, error. So what this has done is updated their stats and things like that. So now if we go here, <coughs> we'll focus mainly on number two because his are easier to work with. His income is 10, his gold is 10. So once we go through a turn, his gold should be his gold plus his income, which means that his gold will be 10 plus his income, which is 10. So that should be 20. Farming, likewise, his food is 10, so that should be 10, plus his farming, which is 11, so that should be 21. And then his turns should go to 105. If we refresh the page, there's no error, and we go back here. Now you can see that 20, 21, and 105. That just means that everything went according to plan. And that's it for that page. I know, fairly simple, right? Now what we have to do is create a new file and we're going to call this cron underscore logs. This one is essentially going to be similar to this, but it's actually very similar. Sim simple. Simple. I, I don't know. I'm so messed up right now. Like, no, I'm not doing any drugs or alcohol. I'm a sober kid adult kid adult something like that so we connected to the database and all we're going to do is mysql query delete from logs where time is uh, less than in our parentheses, we have time minus 86,400. Now, if you remember in the stats page, we selected where uh, time was greater than the last 24 hours. Now we're checking to see if it's less than the last 24 hours. If it is, we're going to delete it. So to prove that this works, we're going to go here and we'll change this one to a time of zero. The time um, is an Unix timestamp where in, in January 1st of 1970, they started counting the number of seconds. And the time is the number of seconds since January 1st, 1970. Why, I don't know. That's just what they did. So. As you can see, this is obviously less than the last 24 hours because that's January of 1970. So now if we go to cron logs, but first let me just show you uh, game, your stats. Uh, if we go to here, you'll see it's four out of five because um, that first one is less than 24 or greater than 24 hours away so if we go to cron logs no errors you'll see that this should be deleted and as you can see it has been deleted and this just checks for the 24 hours this page right here actually goes through and deletes any of the battles that are over 24 hours away um, just for memory management and things like that now what we're going to do is update the rankings, which is a bit more complicated, but fairly simple as well. So rankings.php. And what we're going to do again is do this. We're going to copy and paste this. So now this one's a bit more difficult because we have to get the attack and defense 
of all the users and with that we have to um, with that we have to insert them into an array and figure out um, figure out who is you know who's doing what where when why how that kind of stuff I'm just gonna pause the video and insert the code so that way we can see it okay so here's my code I'm going to let you copy and paste it now okay now that you've copy and pasted this code you'll understand my ways were a little bit different I guess you could say um, but uh, it'll work so what we have here is we get the attack so basically we return all the users attacks from the highest attack down to the lowest attack so we set I equal to 1 this is the highest this is the lowest rank I guess you can say or technically the most important rank so as you can see here we just have our rank array which I'll get to in a second so in this while loop we go through each attack remember from the highest down to the lowest and we rank that one for the highest two for the second highest three for the third highest and so on all the way down to the bottom we do the exact same thing for the defense we rank one for the highest two for the second highest three for the third highest and so on what we do here is rank and the index of this array is attack ID so the ID of the highest person's attack is let's just say for copophobia who had 11 attack the ID is 1 so the rank in position 1 is going to be equal to the attack which is 11 then what we do is we pick that same ID and we add the defense to it so basically what we're doing is for each user we're combining their attack and defense so then right here we sort that rank array with the lowest down to the highest and that's the only way I know of sorting an array is from lowest to highest then what we do is we reverse it we reverse rank and this preserving we're preserving the uh, keys I guess you can say which is essentially the indexes so rank 2 now has the highest to the lowest so now we set the most important rank to 1 and for each rank 2 as key to value so we're basically saying um, for each key from the highest down to the lowest rank and the key is the ID of the user so we update ranking we set the overall ranking equal to one for the highest combined ranking two for the second highest and so forth where ID is equal to key and key is the ID of the user with that combined ranking so once we go over here if we refresh the page you'll see no errors for cron rankings and what we're going to do here is you can see this one two one two one two now we go to stats and ID player one has the higher attack so you see one here and two here he has a lower defense so as you can see that was two and that was one now if we combine them you'll see that there is um, what do we want to say there is going to be uh, 21 total compared to 20 total so he has the higher overall ranking than the player 2 um, I'm going to end this part of the tutorial and in the second part I will just be finishing this up briefly and getting into actually setting up the game site. So I will see you in the next video.